Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here at Osmond Perfumery and today is not a review but a I guess kind of like introducing maybe to something you weren't aware of and it's actually something that I'm just learning about, heard about it before but never really tried one and that's called a perfume booster. And you know, booster kind of, if you think about a booster, it's usually something that gives something an extra push, an extra, oomph, an extra oomph, something that maybe lifts something up, you know, gives it more strength, you know, different uh, connotations come to mind when I think about that. But let me show you what Veronica Bai has done here. This is one of two boosters I believe that she sells. And the name of this one is, I want to make sure I pronounce it correctly. This is O de, na, de la Nuit. So O of the night, or you know, like O de Parfum. Uh, I guess is that water? I forget what O is, so you have to look that up. But O de la Nuit. So what they've done here, and there's another one that's like basically, I think instead of the night, it's for the day. And this is a perfume that interestingly, on its own, it's like kind of a woody, citron or woody kind of marine-like fragrance that in, with a little citrus notes that on its own is very nice. I actually, when I smell this, it, it reminds me kind of, I don't know what the woody note is, but I get, I get a smell of cedar. I get definitely a marine kind of saltiness to it. What this is used for though, they have created this specifically to be used with any of the perfumes in their line. So obviously, you know, Veronique Bai has a lot of perfumes. I have a new one right here by the way, that just came out, which I'm loving already. It's called Ready for Rose. I'll probably do a review on this shortly. A really good summertime rose fragrance. But this is brand new. So what this can be done is, again, you can wear the Eau de la Nuit on its own, or you can mix it with any of the other fragrances. And how Veronique talks about it, what it is used for the boosters to give it a little bit more sensuality, a little bit more lift or brightness. So if you have a fragrance maybe that you just want it to kind of like take it up to the next level, maybe make it a little bit more sexy, maybe make it a little bit more bright and energetic, that's what this will do and along with her other booster that she has. So very cool concept. A lot of people I know out there like to of course mix and match and try different fragrances on at the same time. Um, at the end of the day you like what you like even though you may not be a perfumer or an expert or a chemist, and you may be mixing fragrances and notes that really don't go together. What's great about this is they're experts, of course, at Veronica Bai, of which she is the primary one, have done all that hard work for you. You don't have to go through and start blending different fragrances and wearing different ones at the same time, you know, mixing and matching and seeing what works. For those of you who like to do that, you know, some people like me, I actually kind of just like to wear one fragrance for what it is, you know, just by itself, because I like to get that particular fragrance. But when a brand has actually taken that next level for people who like to do that, I think it's a really cool concept and, and got to have an open mind. This is perfumery. I don't want to keep my mind like, oh, I can only wear perfume one way. Try it out. And I'm going to be wearing this today. I'm going to try it with the Ready for Rose fragrance, which I already really love. I'm going to try it with the booster, going to kind of basically, and actually, you know, let me just do it right now. I'll show you guys. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. It's, so yeah, Maurice is over here, like making all kinds of noise. So again, this is a very jasmine. Uh, it's a, very, a rose with a lot of jasmine. You get a lot of that white floral and citrus. Very summery, beautiful. That's it on its own. Now, this is with the Eau de la Nuit, and let's put it on. And I'm gonna see how, and I'm gonna spray this on its own over here. So here we go, booster power. This is just the booster alone. Mm, I, I actually really love it on its own. It's again, very, definitely get cedar. I love cedar. This is like a sweet, sexy cedar that I'm, I'm smelling, delicious. And then, oh yeah. So, I forgot, let me, because I didn't leave it on its own. So this is the rose on its own here, and this is the rose with the booster. So here, 
oh, wow. It, that woodiness, that cedar, it does. It, it, to me, to me, the, the sensation I'm getting is, obviously, and this is the initial first impression, so it will dry down or give a different feel. But it, it's, it's kind of like jumping off my skin a little bit more, getting a little bit more of a, a kind of like outward projection. Mm, really, really like it. All right, so there you go. That's the video today, guys. Boosters, have you tried one? Um, let me know, are there other brands that you guys are aware of that use this technique, the booster technique? And if so, have you tried them? Have you tried hers? Uh, these boosters have been out for a few years now. This is the first time I'm trying it, but I know they've been out for, I think, three or four years, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm sure some of you guys have tried these before, but let me know in the comments. And of course, as always, thank you for your support. Thank you for your participation. Love it. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfume. Coming up next, have you ever wondered what a perfume booster is? Have you ever tried one? I'm gonna show you one from Veronique Gabay, what it does and how you can use it to give more variety to your collection. Stay tuned, coming up next.